mouse deer and farmer. Mouse deer loved to eat the fruits and roots and shoots of the forest. But he loved something else even more. He loved the vegetables in farmer's garden. One day, mouse deer went to the edge of the forest. He looked out at row after row of vegetables. Um, said mouse deer. Juicy cucumbers. Yummy yams. He started into the garden. Snap. Oh. His leg was caught in a snare. Mouse deer pulled and pulled. But he could not get away. Oh. No. He said. Farmer will have me for dinner. Then he saw farmer coming. Mouse deer thought fast. He lay on the ground and made his body stiff. Well. Well. Said farmer. Look what I caught. A mouse deer. But he looks dead. Farmer pushed him with his foot. Mouse deer didn't move. Maybe he's been dead a long time, said farmer. Too bad. I guess we can't eat him. He pulled mouse deer's leg out of the snare. Then he tossed mouse deer back into the forest. Mouse deer landed with a soft plop. Then he jumped up and ran. Behind him, he heard farmer yell. Hey, you tricked me. Mouse deer laughed. Farmer is smart. But mouse deer is smarter. A few days passed. Mouse deer kept thinking about all those vegetables. One day, he went back to the edge of the forest. Um, said mouse deer. Tasty gourds. Scrumptious sweet potatoes. Then he saw something new. It looked like a man. But its head was a coconut, and its body was rubber. A scarecrow, said mouse deer. That silly farmer. Does he think he can scare me with that? I'll show him how scared I am. Mouse deer marched up to the scarecrow. Take this. He gave it a big kick. But his leg stuck to the scarecrow. The scarecrow was covered with sticky sap from a rubber tree. Let me go, said mouse deer. He pulled and he pulled. Then he pushed with his other front leg. That leg stuck too. Turn me loose. He pulled and he pulled. Then he pushed with his two back legs. They stuck too. Put me down. He pulled and he pushed and he pulled and he pushed. But Mouse Deer was trapped. Then he saw Farmer. Mouse Deer thought fast. But he didn't have any ideas. Well, well, said Farmer. How nice of you to come back. He pulled Mouse Deer off the scarecrow and carried him to the house. He put him outside in an empty chicken coop. I'll keep you here tonight, said Farmer. And tomorrow you'll be our dinner. All that night, Mouse Deer couldn't sleep. He didn't want to be dinner. When the sun rose, Mouse Deer just lay there sadly. Then he heard something. Why, it's Mouse Deer. So Farmer caught you at last. It serves you right. It was Farmer's dog. Mouse Deer thought fast. What do you mean, dog? Farmer didn't catch me. Then why are you in the coop? Said dog. Because there aren't enough beds in the house. You see, farmer is holding a feast tomorrow. And I'm the guest of honor. Guest of honor? Said dog. That's not fair. I've been his loyal friend for years, and you're just a thief. The guest of honor should be me. You know, dog, you're right. Why don't you take my place? When farmer sees you in here, He'll make you the guest of honor instead. Really? Said dog. You don't mind? Not at all, said mouse deer. You deserve it. Mouse deer, you're not so bad after all. Thank you. Dog lifted the latch and opened the door. You're welcome, dog. Enjoy the feast. Mouse deer ran for the forest. Then he watched from the forest edge. He saw farmer come out and stare at dog. Then he heard Farmer yell. You stupid dog. You let the mouse deer get away. Mouse deer laughed. Farmer will have to find a different dinner now. Then he went off singing his song. I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and try, but you can't catch me.